Anyway, so this was it was this one chord that I played. <clears throat> I had never played it before, but it just sounded so nice. And this was a chord, it was an E. I don't know, it just, it just sounded very. I didn't know what was so special about this chord, and then I figured out what this chord was. Okay, so let's figure this out. Let's like try to identify this chord. So, let's figure out the notes that I'm playing. My bass note is E. Do, do. And I happen to be a whole step away from the E here on the A string. So that's the second scale degree. So in a chord, look down here. So in a chord, you guys want to be able to identify the, the chord tones inside of it. All right, so when you have a chord tone that's actually a whole step away, you wouldn't necessarily say two. Add seven to that and you get nine. All right, so that's an easy way to go about it. So just picking out chords inside of a chord that's already being played to try to identify it. So I have the open E, which is my root that we're trying to figure out now. And in essence, once we figure out all of the chord tones, we'll be able to figure out the chord and its existence. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop putting down here. So I have a D here, which is my nine or my two. Then I have a major third. Then I have a major third here. Um, so you can call that the major third. That's fine. So I have a nine, a major third. And the thing about it is, let me go back down. <laughs> the thing about it is, hopefully you guys can still hear me. The thing about it is that last note is actually E. So it's really not a big chord at all. Actually, it's a it's a three note chord, but I'm doubling the bass note, which makes it sound so pretty. So all of the chord tones that you have inside of that is a major third and a nine. So it's just technically an E major nine chord. We don't have the fifth in there. We have the major third, like I said, and we have the nine, a natural nine, okay, or the two. So that's how you kind of identify. Take that that highest interval, the nine, right? So we won't count the the high E because all we're doing is just doubling the bass note. So it's an E major nine chord. <laughs> that's another one. We're just in a different type of inversion type of, I, and I love exploring with these different chords. Crazy, right? Crazy, crazy chord. But it's really not that complex. It's just it's three notes. Just in a different inversion. So what I'm doing is I have my third finger on the E. Well, I, depending on if your if your bass even goes up this high, uh, I have the my third finger on this fret, which is the wow. I don't even know which fret this is. <laughs> so this is this is 15, 17, 19. This 21st, this is the 21st fret. So that's the D on the 21st fret A string. Oops. This is the G sharp on the D string on the 18th fret. Is that right? 15, 17, 18, yeah. 18th fret. And then on the same 21st fret, I have that E. So what I was doing, I, I, I didn't technically play these, I haven't played these chords before but it just sounded so right. So it was almost like I'm, I'm challenging myself, I almost flipped it upside down. So instead of having this shape here with this finger, I kind of moved that shape and I flipped it. So, so now two, two of, one of my fingers is accounting for two of the notes on the A string and the G string, and then I'm going this way in pitch with that note on the D. But the other one is, that one note going down on the D string is moving that way. One note is going down. So physically, I was just playing around and I didn't really know exactly what the chord was. 
but let's do it again. So let's figure out what this chord is. This is the absolute funnest thing to me, if you guys haven't seen already. I love to be able to identify, just to play, just to open my mind up and not go based on anything. Not go based on anything anybody told me to play. Or I just wanted to feel for myself or just experiment and find things that I liked. And then afterwards, figure out what it means or what it, you know, what it does or what the quality of it is. All right. So now I can just say, okay, that's, a, that's an E major nine chord. I can play that like a, I already know how to play an E major nine that way. I can play it the same way this way, right? So let's go for this chord. So what we have is an E, and we have a major third from there. Then we have the octave, almost the same type of... Now we're inverting this chord. And then at the top, we have a nine here. So this is technically the same exact chord as this. So you guys get the idea. Enough of that. I just thought it was super, super interesting uh, to be able to play those type of chords and inversions that I've never played before. I've been playing for 20 something years, but I've never played them that way. Um, I always had a way of playing those E minor, those E major. I can play it like that super open sound tonality, a nine chord, which is super simple. Just fifths. Uh, I always have trouble saying that. Fifths stacked on top of each other. E, a fifth from that. B, a fifth from that. 